Okay, this is the Mathlin 11 9 p.m. Zoom meeting, Thursday, October 29th. I, I know school is out on campus today and it's out tomorrow, at least Gainesville and Blairsville was or something. Um, so yeah, but we're not on campus, we're online. So I'm keeping going with the Zoom meeting because we do have a test this week. The 12 o'clock Zoom meeting got cut short because uh, the internet blinked out and ended the recording and everything. So I just went ahead and recorded that. And I was just short of finishing this problem. I'm not gonna redo the whole thing from the start because you can watch the 12 p.m. Zoom. It's problem 33, page 352. It's to um, solve this equation, you're solving this collecting it into one fraction, showed the algebra here to do that, and this factors, and you get the zeros from the top and zeros from the bottom. The zeros on the top will have closed circles because they're or equal twos, negative two and three, whereas the bottom zeros are never closed, they're always open. And so that's at zero and one. And now I was testing the intervals. I got three of them tested. This one worked. These two didn't. I can show the algebra here for that. Um, if you want, again, a lot slower and more detail, watch the 12 p.m. Zoom. Skip to about 30 minutes in. I think the whole thing was 35 minutes. Skip to the last five minutes, and we go down through this whole thing. I'm just going to finish it up with these last two intervals. So let's uh, check two. X equals two. And you'd have negative two add three, two plus two, two minus one, and a two greater than or equal to zero. And again, I'm checking each piece to be positive. And um, yeah, it looks like they uh, actually all are positive, 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 positive. And uh, yes, so this works. And uh, finally, four. And I would have negative four add three, four add two, four minus one, and four greater than or equal to zero. Again, I'm plugging them into this formula. And I wind up with a negative, positive, positive, positive. One negative is negative, so no, this doesn't work. So answer, bracket, because it's closed circle, negative two comma zero parentheses, union with a one comma three parentheses there, bracket there. This gets very technical. All right, I didn't check any answers at the 12 o'clock Zoom. I'm gonna remind myself. 1 point, uh, 3.7 problem 33. So I'm going to check this one. I'm going to find out if I am an idiot. 3.7 problem 3.733, way at the bottom of the page here. If I get both on the screen, negative two to zero, bracket, parentheses, parentheses and bracket, one to three. Let's see. There we are, negative two, I don't know if you can see this. Negative two, zero, union one to three. Barely see it, but that is a bracket on the three, yeah. And a bracket on the negative two, yeah. Checks for the book answer. All right. Why don't we go back, work one of each. We're behind on getting quizzes and everything out for this week. So maybe we'll work one of each. Behind, let's see, three, seven. like eleven. I think I've done eleven. 
11 yet. That will be 11. There'll be four zeros to it. So 37, 352, problem 11. Solve. X to the fourth. Minus 18, less than zero. All right. Well, if you remember your factorings at all, but this has a quadratic form. You can play this as two numbers multiply to 18 and add to seven with x squared and x squared. X squared. So I could play minus nine and plus seven, less than zero. Okay, you can foil back if you're unconvinced. There's your x to the fourth. You'd have a seven x squared, a minus nine, and I, and yeah, that's a two, my fault, my fault. Okay, so plus two x squared minus nine x, so two minus nine be a negative seven x squared, and you're minus 18. All right, this factors, this is a difference of squares. So I've got x plus three, minus three, and x squared plus two. I want to know whether that's less than zero. All right, zeros. X equals negative three, three, and X squared plus two equals zero. X squared would equal negative two. And your uh, X would be plus or minus root two, two, root two, with an i, or plus or minus i square root of two. So those are zeros, but they're not going to be on the number line to test. Okay, so all we have on the number line to test is your negative three and three. You will want them open circles, because there's no or equal to. So, let us uh, come over to negative four, negative four, negative four, and we would have negative four add three, negative four minus three, negative four squared add two. I want that less than zero. If you'll notice this piece is negative, that's negative. And on the end here, when you square that and add a number, you're going to get always a positive. This one's going to be always on this problem, always positive. And you can see this does not work. Two negatives are positive. With a positive, you're bigger than zero, not less. No. Okay. This will go with zero in the middle. X equals zero. Zero add three. Zero minus three, where to add two, less than zero. Again, this is positive. Here's your negative and positive. And this works. Yes. We got one negative. And off the four, four plus three, four minus three, Four squared add two, less than zero. Positive, 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 less than zero, no. So answer, any number between negative three and three, no, can't use negative three and three. All right, so that's an example of, again, your straight polynomial. Let's try a fraction one. It's pretty nasty. What's one we haven't done? Well, I'd say 35 we haven't done. 35 is going to be a bit of a project. So 
why don't we try it? 35, we're off page 352. Solve x plus 2 over x plus 3. Less than x minus 1 over x minus 2. All right, we got to get a zero on one side. That's pretty easy. Take this fraction, subtract that fraction, less than zero. Get common denominator. I'll go ahead and crush it together. You're going to have both of these. And then you're going to have this go up there and that go in there x plus 2 times x minus 2. And with multiple pieces, the only correct way to combine is a foil. That's why I'm writing them with parentheses. You don't need parentheses when they're by themselves. When you're multiplying them, we put them in parentheses to indicate a foil. That's the only correct way to combine them. And then you're going to have a foil with x minus 1 and x plus 3. And less than 0. I've got to boil the top down, simplify the top. I don't mess with the bottom. I already know that my bottom zeros are negative three and two. I gotta simplify the top. So that's x squared minus two x plus two x minus four. I'm gonna put a minus of big parentheses and hold that minus and then foil this, then distribute the minus. x squared plus three x round one minus x and minus three. Bottom is still x plus three, x minus two. I want this less than zero. I'm not going too fast. Notice my negative two x plus two x is gonna go away. Minus, I'll have x squared, a plus two x and a minus three. X plus three, X minus two. It starts, when it's starting to turn into a project, not, you know, none of these steps are super hard. It's just stringing them all together is, you know, where some people drives them nuts. All right, you'd have a minus X squared, a minus two X and add three. Plus three, X minus two, less than zero. The x squared is going to go away. That's nice. You don't have to factor anything. With them gone, we're going to wind up with a negative 2x. x squareds are gone. Negative 4 add 3. That's a negative 1. Plus 3, x minus 2, and less than 0. Whew. Okay. Top zeros or zero, because there's only one of them. Negative two X minus one equals zero. Negative two X equals one. X will equal negative one half. You might be able to do that in your head, but you can see the check. You put negative two times negative one half, subtract one, you wind up with one minus one equals zero. One minus one equals zero, because you're Negative two cancels negative two there. So you wind up with negative times negative positive one and minus one equals zero. Uh, your bottom zero is pretty obvious. X is negative three and positive two. We're gonna have open circles here and an open circle here. No or equal to. So all of them are going to have open circles. Putting them in order. Negative three, and then a negative a half, and finally a two. This is from the bottom, 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 top. They're all open. 
Bottom zero is always open. Never be equal to, you'd be dividing by zero. Top one, because there's nowhere equal to. All right. Let's say we do negative four. Negative four, and we're testing into negative two X minus one over X plus three minus two, and we want it less than zero. I better double check. One over X plus three, X minus two. All right, just a matter of plugging and chugging and seeing if your signs work out Negative, you want this negative. Negative two times negative four minus one over negative four add three and negative four minus two and you want that less than zero. Well, that's gonna be eight minus one. So, so top's positive, this is negative and that's negative. So you wind up with two negatives, which is positive. No. Uh, between negative three and negative a half. How about negative two? Negative two times negative two minus one over uh, negative two add three and negative two minus two. Less than zero. Top is still positive. Four minus one is three. Positive. But this is negative. One negative. Negative. No. I got one negative. Yes. Ah, it's late at night. My apologies. Yes. Yeah, one negative. Less than zero. Yes. So this is in. All right, between negative half and two, how about zero? Negative two times zero, subtract one over zero, add three, zero minus two, less than zero. Top is negative. Zero there, minus zero minus one is negative one, positive, and a negative, two negatives. Nope, this is positive, no. Other side of two. Three. Negative two times three minus one over three add three, three minus two, less than zero. Top is negative, positive, positive, one negative, yes. You're in. Answer. Negative three to a negative a half, parentheses, and parentheses two, comma, infinity. Now we take the time, three, seven, it was problem 35. Two to infinity, all oh, parentheses everywhere. All right. Well, there's examples again of both types of problems for three seven. Don't forget that test. Uh, three is Friday and thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It will be 15 problems. Six points each. I will add I'll say true or false. 10 points. The Google form score.
to Sunday. That's 11, November 1st. All right. I will uh, go ahead and end the meeting. Hope these examples help you if anybody uh, wanted to watch this.